the derivative of y equals x squared minus 4 divided by x plus 2. So what we're going to do here is going to use quotient rule. Why? Because you have um, the numerator dividing by a denominator. Whenever you have division and you have to find the derivative of a division problem, just go ahead and use quotient rule. So derivative with respect to x of f of x, your numerator divided by g of x, your denominator, equals g of x times the derivative of f of x minus um, f of x times the derivative of g of x divided by g of x squared. And so what you're going to have is the derivative with respect to x of x squared minus 4 divided by x plus 2 equals derivative of, go ahead and label what f of, f of x and g of x is equal to. Where g, f of x is equal to x squared minus 4, f prime of x is equal to 2x, g of x is equal to x plus 2, g prime of x is equal to 1. So go ahead and plug in g of x is equal to x plus 2, and that's multiplied by f prime of x, which is equal to 2x minus f of x, which is x squared minus 4, times g prime of x, and that's equal to 1, all divided by g of x squared, right? So g of x is equal to x plus 2 squared. So that's going to be FOIL right there. And so the derivative of x squared minus 4 divided by x plus 2 equals 2x times x plus 2 use distributed property right here minus x squared minus 4 use distributed property right here and distribute the negative all divided by x plus 2 squared which will require a FOIL if we factor it out. So it'll be 2x times x, 2x times 2, and there'll be negative on the outside times this first term times the second term. So it'll be 2x squared plus 4x minus x squared, and I'm just going to go ahead and distribute it. So it's going to be minus x squared, negative times negative 4, it's going to be positive 4, divided by x plus 2 squared. So then the derivative with respect to x of x squared minus 4 divided by x squared plus 2 is going to be equal to go ahead and combine like terms 2x squared minus x squared is going to be equal to x squared plus 4x plus 4 divided by x plus 2 squared so the derivative with respect to x of x squared minus 4 divided by x squared plus 2 is going to equal to x plus 2 times x plus 2. I'm just going to go ahead, right here, I factored the numerator. And it's just x plus 2 plus x plus 2. I mean times x plus 2, so it's x plus 2 times x plus 2. Notice that they're divisible. This cancels out with this, cancels out with this and this cancels out with this. And we're just left with 1, 1, 1, 1, and it equals 1. So the derivative with respect to x of x squared minus 4 divided by x squared plus 2 is going to be as follows. Equals 1 times 1 over 1 times 1 equals 1. So then the derivative of x squared minus 4 over x plus 2 is going to be equal to 1.